I was trained as a physicist, but fascinated with computers. After my PhD, I had my own individual aha moment of, what if we could program biology in much the same way that we do computers by using the rules of physics to do that? As a postdoctoral fellow, we were working on trying to understand how the immune system works, and the field of synthetic biology was in its very early stages. You could build a piece of DNA that when you stuck it into a bacterium would cause the bacterium to turn on and off in like a rhythmic blinking fashion. I think what's special about synthetic biology is over the course of the last few decades, our ability to reprogram the living world has really accelerated. But then biological systems do so much more. What's so cool about biology is it not only knows how to program, but then biological systems can make stuff like fuels and alcohols medicines that we use like insulin, and laundry detergent enzymes. Synthetic biology is really about using biology's way of making molecules to make molecules biology never knew about. We've built a community here with many faculty, hundreds of students and researchers that define us as the destination for work and research and study in synthetic biology. My lab focuses on the cell membrane, the structure that surrounds every single living organism. And what we're able to do is actually build the cell membrane in our laboratory from scratch. In my lab, one of the applications we're most interested in is using this idea of a cell-based device to treat cancer by coaxing the immune system to recognize a tumor and remove it safely from the body. I have a brand new collaboration to use biology to help degrade plastics. We want to eventually be creating plastics that are degradable on command. We've been studying for a long time how molecules sense their environment. What we figured out how to do is take lead sensing molecules out of the bacteria and put them in a test tube. So now someone that wants to sense for lead can dip this piece of paper in their water and they see the spot. I think we're kind of at this tipping point in the field of synthetic biology. It's gonna impact us in our lifetime, right? And it's not gonna be in 20 years or 40 years or 100 years, but it's starting today.